Hey, what's up guys, Unstoppable Luck here, Nick, whatever you want to call me. Today, I just feel like doing a commentary. As you guys know, from June 16th to the 20th, I was at a summer camp uh, helping them set up pre-camp session, so I had a lot of uh, fun doing that, and you guys are probably like, Nick, that's uh, that's physical labor, how do you have fun doing that? Well, it's it was fun in the way that these are people that I've known since my childhood and I haven't seen them for a good uh, two years, some of them four years, and it was really nice to be able to reconnect to them face to face and sort of uh, get back into that teamwork aspect of uh, building something up, which was, in this case was a couple docks up north uh, at the camp I used to go to, so that was really nice. And despite it, I don't mind manual labor, uh, it was actually nice to just get away from the computer. And although it was putting strain on my body, it felt like there was this weight lifted for me, because for those four days, YouTube thinking about, uh, stressing about trying to get a video up or any of that stuff was not on my mind. And for me, that was just such a big relief, because I was nervous about going up there. Uh, even though it was just four days, I was nervous. I didn't. I'm going on. My, I'm going for a long vacation. You know, ten days. Uh, ten days to a minecon, and tour London and France. And that was something I was pretty nervous about because I wanted to have videos ready. But as it's going right now, I'm very comfortable with where I am, and I've sort of come to the fact that it is what it is. If I can make videos for when I'm gone to be scheduledly uploaded while I'm gone, that's great. You know, I'm real I'd be really proud of myself if I can and I'd be re feel really accomplished. But, you know, if I can't what what's beating myself up about it going to do? You know, it's what it's going to do is it's going to ruin my vacation, but uh, just from having those four days up north, uh, like five or six hours away from where I currently live, where I don't have any cell phone reception, and that was the cool thing. It was literally going dark, you know? Uh, I mean, like, I don't mean going dark as in I got a bit tanned up there from all the sun exposure. Oh my god, my, my skin. And the sunburns, I mean. But, um, it was like going off the grid. I, I couldn't post it. I, put, I think my last tweet I, I posted was, I'm going dark, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, no cell phone reception, no internet, I'll be back here, and uh, I think some of people, uh, I got I left my DMs open, so when I got back, some people are like, Nick, you haven't tweeted for two days, we're worried, and I found that really funny, because uh, the, the tweet that sort of was supposed to reassure everyone that I'm gonna be good and not to worry sort of made people panic if they missed it so that was really cool but yeah no Wi-Fi no internet it was just nice to be able to take a breather up there even though it was manual labor it was still a lot of fun I uh, met a lot of cool people because it's an international camp I don't think I've ever talked very much about the camp I've just sort of kept it really brief that I go to camp I used to go to camp as camper I used to go there as a counselor and I on occasion I'll go up if I have time even though you know timing wasn't really that great right now I'll go up there and I'll help set up a little bit do what I can because it's nice to see those people again they really helped shape me not as a youtuber not as a, not as a person on the internet obviously that was a done by a lot of you guys but uh, self-esteem wise they made me feel like I was wanted as a kid and uh, sort of gave me all the encouragement I needed to be more confident in myself and even though my confidence was still really low by the time I was finished like going to camp and doing all that and I was very very shy still it sort of readied me up for the world because after I got back from there I uh, from my previous year I got I had to actually go into a bit of a laborful job which I might get into later in another video I don't know, I don't want- I just want to keep this short, but thank you guys for being patient with me. You know, it means a lot to me, it really does. Cause just knowing that, uh, I- I thought my channel was gonna die, <laughs> that's what I'm getting across. I thought I was gonna get here and back and be- Oh, worst case scenario, I- I thought I was gonna get back into a Wi-Fi or cell phone reception zone and my channel was just gonna be gone. That was the worst case scenario, that's like- I actually had a dream about that when I was up there, and uh, I woke up and I'm like, oh my god, it was that, hopefully that was a dream, and it was. When I woke up, I'm like, okay, it was a dream, but oh, I think my heart, my heart was honestly pounding out of my chest. I think 
I measured my heart rate, and it was like at 190 beats per minute. And for uh, normally when I can get my heart rate going that fast, I'm going on like an all-out sprint for like a good two minutes. And oh, I, I thought I was gonna die, but then I realized it was a dream. I calmed myself down, and uh, I was all good after that. Uh, I didn't. YouTube didn't cross my mind for the rest of. Uh, my stay there and it was really nice being up there again so i just want to let you guys know that i'm good and i feel refreshed to make more videos uh, that that's something that sort of dimmed down i sort of became a computer potato uh, like when i was in front of the computer for, i'm gonna be honest for the past like two months i was extremely inefficient i would just sit with the video editing screen open if I was editing a video and I didn't know what I wanted. I wanted to add more. I, you know, I had subtitles, but it sort of felt boring to the point where where it felt like work and I didn't I don't want YouTube to ever feel like work. Any videos I ever post are videos I want to make. They're videos that I I wait for sort of that spark inside of me to want to do it. I'm not, I don't force myself to make videos. I really don't. I don't wake up feel. if I wake up and I feel miserable, uh, if I sit in front of the computer, I'll feel worse. So what I need to do on those days is I need to go to the gym, I need to get out of the house, I need to do something. And then, depending on how I feel after that, I'll attempt to make a video, I'll attempt to edit a video, but... Right now, YouTube's just my labor of love. I love doing it. It's an, it's such a, an amazing opportunity for me to actually be able to do this as a job. Who knows how long I'm gonna be able to do it. You know, even if I can be able to do it for no another couple months, that would just be amazing. If I do have to go back to a job that eh, is more of an everyday job, I'm obviously gonna still attempt to do YouTube. If I enjoy it, I'm gonna do it. It started off as a hobby, and I wouldn't mind bringing it back as a hobby. You know, it might cripple sort of my upload schedule to one video every two weeks or something horrible like that, but you know, if that happens, it is what it is. What's the point of stressing out over something that I really can't control? But uh, I, ju I just wanted to get this out here. I don't know if this commentary really went anywhere or anything, but I'm just really, I feel like there's a weight lifted and I'm ready to make videos again, so uh, maybe more commentaries like this, maybe I'll go play some Agario, I, I made, I was just recording, I was testing out some recording settings on my OBS and I just record some Agario and I go nuts when I play that game guys, I might live stream it, I don't know how much this laptop can handle but oh, I really do enjoy that game. Um, uh, as well as a bunch of other little mini browser games like Realm of the Mad God, Agario, all these really cool games. Uh, cr what, what's the other one? Curve Fever is the one I want to try and do more because those are really fun. I go nuts when I play them. It's it's a real good time. So if you guys want to see more videos like that, uh, I'm, go I'm not going to try and take away from any Minecraft or any type of trolling videos because I know I, I want to try and keep those on a weekly basis, but I want to do more. I really do. So I'm excited for this summer, I feel refreshed, I'm excited for Minecon, I'm excited to go forward and sort of have these new experiences, and I'm willing to bring you guys with me along with this, so see you guys later, thanks for listening, if you made it this far, it honestly means a lot to me, and I will see you in a future video, <laughs> see you guys later.